Yellowstone has always been a sleeping giant, but lately, it's been acting different. Instruments deep below the surface are picking up rapid swelling in its magma chamber. It's faster than anything seen in decades. Pressure is building, rock layers are straining, and beneath it all, the magma beast is awakening. No one can say exactly what's coming next, but scientists agree on one thing. The system is moving in ways we've never anticipated before, and if the wrong chain of events unfolds, the consequences won't stop at Yellowstone's borders. Beneath Yellowstone's enormous but calm exterior lies one of Earth's Earth's most powerful forces, a supervolcano so vast its magma chamber could fill the Grand Canyon several times over. It sits quietly, just a few miles below the surface, stretching for dozens of miles in every direction. Scientists have known about this giant for decades, but what they're seeing now is new and unsettling. Instruments show the magma chamber isn't just active, it's expanding faster than scientists predicted. With the pressure building up, the rock layers are warping and the fault lines are under massive strain. And here's the part that makes researchers lean forward in their chairs. Yellowstone's magma is thick, sticky, and rich in poisonous gases. It's holding up pressure, waiting for just one single jolt to erupt in explosive bursts. That combination, along with its shallow depth, makes it one of the most closely monitored volcanic systems in the world. From the surface, you'd never guess the scale of the machine working below your feet. The geysers, hot springs, and bubbling mud pots are just tiny windows into a vast, hidden world, a natural landscape that shifting in ways we haven't seen in centuries. Initially, there was typical volcanic activity, a cluster of tiny earthquakes, barely noticeable at the surface but strange enough to catch scientists' attention. These weren't the deep, distant quakes Yellowstone usually produces. They were shallow and happening in unusual locations. Then came the ground movement. GPS stations across the park began reporting the ground swelling upward. At first, it was barely noticeable, in millimeters, then in centimeters. Then over the next few weeks, the swelling doubled and then tripled. Geysers began erupting more often, and some that had been silent for decades suddenly roared back to life. Steam vents hissed louder. Temperatures in certain hot springs climbed beyond known limits. Then humanity witnessed the most unsettling change. The seismic radars recorded signs of harmonic tremors. Think, low, continuous vibrations deep underground. These tremors were different from typical earthquakes. They didn't stop after a few seconds. They hummed for minutes, even hours. This was a telltale sign that the underground magma was moving fast. To the untrained eye, Yellowstone still looked peaceful, but the data was telling a terrifying story, one of rising pressure and a restless magma giant waking up. Satellite imaging, GPS data, and underground sensors now clearly show that the chamber is expanding at an unprecedented rate. Magma is rushing in from deeper in the Earth's mantle and piling into the chamber faster than the surrounding rock can adjust. That pressure has to vent out, and right now, it's pushing the structure upward, stretching, and cracking the crust above. The inflow of molten rock is unusually hot and buoyant, feeding the system with fresh energy. This is exactly the type of activity that has preceded eruptions at other volcanoes around the world. What's making this more concerning is the chamber's depth. In places, it's only a few kilometers below the surface, far shallower than most supervolcano systems. That means less rock stands in the way if pressure keeps building. And here's the unsettling part. Scientists say this expansion is not gradual anymore. The pace is accelerating. Yellowstone's surface is beginning to show signs of strain. Geysers that once erupted like clockwork are now breaking their schedules, some blasting more frequently, others staying quiet for days before suddenly surging. Pools that were crystal blue are shifting to cloudy green or orange, a sign that minerals and heat levels are changing. Steam vents, fumaroles are breathing harder, pushing out heavier volumes of gas. And it's not just water vapor. Instruments are picking up higher levels of sulfur dioxide and carbon dioxide. These gases are often linked to magma rising closer to the surface. In some parts of the park, the ground itself is swelling. GPS stations show the Earth lifting by several centimeters in just weeks, a rate that usually takes years. Visitors may not see it with their eyes, but the instruments don't lie. The land is slowly bulging, like a lid under pressure. Even animals are acting differently. Herds of bison and elk have been spotted moving away from geyser basins toward cooler, quieter areas. It's not proof of an eruption, but it adds one more strange piece to the puzzle scientists are trying to solve.
This is why the red alert isn't just about seismic readings. It's about the whole park changing above and below. The tremors cannot be ignored anymore. It started with little tremors that most people wouldn't even feel, but soon they began arriving in swarms. Dozens of tremors in a single day, then hundreds over the course of a week. In some spots, the tremors are so persistent that scientists believe magma is forcing its way through cracks in the crust, searching for a path upward. Combined with the rapid expansion of the magma chamber, this suggests the system is becoming more restless and more unpredictable. Seismic teams have deployed portable sensors across Yellowstone's most active zones, hoping to pinpoint exactly where the magma is moving. But the swarms keep popping up in new areas, almost as if the entire underground system is shifting. It's a stark warning for scientists. And the longer it continues, the more urgent the question becomes. What's the next move for this restless giant? Not all magma is the same, and that's what makes Yellowstone so dangerous. The magma beneath this supervolcano is rich in silica, a mineral that makes molten rock thick and sticky. That high viscosity traps gases inside, building pressure like a sealed soda bottle being shaken. When it finally bursts, the release can be catastrophic. Unlike thinner basaltic magma, which flows more freely, Yellowstone's magma doesn't easily let gas escape. Instead, those gases build until they break free in an explosive eruption, blasting rock, ash, and molten debris high into the atmosphere. And here's the chilling part. Yellowstone's magma chamber is huge. Stretching for miles beneath the park, it holds enough molten material to blanket large parts of North America in ash. Scientists believe a major eruption could send ash clouds so high that they'd circle the globe, blocking sunlight and lowering global temperatures. It's about ashfall that could collapse roofs hundreds of miles away, contaminate water supplies, and cripple the food supply for years. Right now, all that energy is locked beneath the surface. But but as the magma chamber expands faster than ever recorded, the risk of a violent release, even a smaller one, becomes harder to ignore. When a giant stirs underground, nature starts to react long before humans fully understand what's happening. Across Yellowstone, strange signs are already showing. Geysers that were quiet for decades are suddenly erupting again, shooting boiling water higher and more often than normal. Steam vents are widening, hissing with hotter, more sulfur-rich gases. Even the smell in some areas has changed, a sharp, metallic tang that geologists recognize. Wildlife, too, seems unsettled. Bison and elk have been spotted moving away from their usual grazing grounds, traveling to higher or more distant areas of the park. Scientists can't say for sure if it's instinct or coincidence, but history shows that animals often sense changes in the earth before people do. Hot springs in certain basins have shifted color, a sign that underground heat and chemical balance are changing. These transformations can happen when the pressure beneath the surface forces new channels of superheated water upward, altering the entire chemistry of a spring. Each of these changes might seem small on its own, but together they paint a picture, a restless system adjusting to new forces below. And if Yellowstone's magma chamber continues to swell, these signs could intensify quickly. Now, let's imagine what a Yellowstone eruption would actually look like. If Yellowstone were to erupt, it wouldn't be like the lava flows you see in Hawaii. This would be something far more explosive and far Reaching. The first sign would likely be a swarm of intense earthquakes as pressure forces its way through the crust. These quakes could collapse parts of the ground, open new vents, and release massive plumes of gas and ash into the air. Within hours, an ash cloud could tower over the region, stretching miles into the atmosphere. Winds would carry it across the United States, turning day into night in some places, clogging air filters, and grounding flights nationwide. The heaviest ash would blanket states closest to the park, Wyoming, Montana, and Idaho, collapsing weak roofs and contaminating water supplies. Finer ash could drift as far as the East Coast, coating cars, crops, and entire cities in a gritty gray dust. The eruption could also unleash pyroclastic flows, scorching avalanches of gas, ash, and rock moving faster than any human could outrun. In the immediate blast zone, nothing would survive. And even beyond the U.S., the effects would ripple out. Ash in the upper atmosphere could block sunlight, cooling the planet for months or even years. Crops could become scarce, food prices could spike, and global trade could face massive disruption. Right now, scientists aren't just tracking Yellowstone from every angle. Over 40 GPS
GPS stations measure even the tiniest changes in ground level, sending live updates to monitoring centers. Deep seismic arrays listen for tremors far below the surface, while satellites scan for heat, gas emissions, and surface deformation. If anything unusual happens, even a few extra centimeters of uplift, alerts are sent instantly to the U.S. Geological Survey and local authorities. Emergency managers have evacuation routes mapped, communication systems ready, and drills planned for nearby towns. In some areas, residents are briefed on what to do if the worst happens, from sealing homes against ash to preparing emergency supplies. And while no one can predict the exact moment an eruption could start, these preparations are designed to shave crucial minutes or hours off the response time. Because with something this big, every second counts. Even with all the monitoring, all the sensors and all the data, Yellowstone still refuses to spill all its secrets. Geological science can predict seismic patterns accurately, but Yellowstone is changing in ways that defy long-term patterns. One month, readings can show stability. The next, something deep below shifts without warning. The magma chamber's pressure might ease off naturally, or it might keep building until it triggers smaller eruptions, hydrothermal blasts, or a catastrophic event. The truth is, no one can predict the exact chain of events. What scientists do know is this. Yellowstone is awake, it's restless, and it's capable of rewriting the rules of what we think a volcano can do. So for now, the world keeps watching. Every tremor, every burst of gas, every shift in the ground could be the first sign of what's coming next. Because under Yellowstone's beauty lies one of Earth's most powerful forces, and it's not done showing its might. Yellowstone is one of Earth's most beautiful places, and one of its most dangerous. The Red Alert is a reminder that our planet is always changing, always moving. And under all that beauty, there's a giant that will one day wake again. Until then, scientists will keep watching, and so will we.